How's it going guys? I guess here from Makers Muse. So everything is a little bit chaotic around me, but I just could not wait to show you this package. So this arrived today from Shining 3D and those who don't know, I visited Shining 3D not too long ago in Hangzhou. Visited their entire uh, warehouse and manufacturing headquarters where they do R&D. They have 3D printers and scanners of all sizes. It was absolutely amazing. And this package just arrived along with another very big package which you'll be seeing shortly. But this is the one I'm really interested in. So, while I was there, I got to test out their SLA 3D printer, which was really cool, and I printed a Maker Coin. But I also designed a lattice style Maker Coin for their SLM process. And for those who don't know, SLM is a selective laser melting system which melts metal powders together. Full metal 3D printing. And I think that's what might be in this box. Let's find out. That's some packaging, some more packaging, and there's something in here. No way. No way. Alright. So just before I show this to you, quick note, SLM is a selective laser melting system, as I said, using metal powders, in this case, stainless steel. But at the time, I thought it was like SLS, where you don't need supports. But a few of you pointed out who are in the industry that SLM does need supports for various reasons. So, this would have been pretty hard for them to make, but let's have a look. All right. Da, 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 da. Wow. Check that out. Check that out. Okay, I've got to go to show you this closer up. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Check that out guys. So this is a 3D printed stainless steel Maker's Muse Maker Coin which I edited in Mesh Mixer to basically create a lattice structure. And what they've done is they've printed this for me. So I, it looks like it would have needed some sort of support material but they've done an amazing job removing it and that's yeah that's gonna be That's so sick. So, that's the, gonna do it for this quick video, guys. Thank you so much to Shining 3D for being such an amazing host when I visited them in Hangzhou and making this possible. This is the first ever metal 3D print I've had custom made. So, I've, I've, I've come across metal 3D printing before, but I've never been able to actually do it because it's too expensive. And you certainly can't justify this just for, just for testing. There goes my phone. But this is awesome and I'm going to show this proudly at every trade show and expo I go to and I'm going to say thanks to Shining 3D for sending this through. If you enjoy this video guys I want to see future 3D printing videos on Maker's Muse. I mean again check out the the whole series of videos I did while I was in Hangzhou. It was pretty cool. You can just click the link there and check it out and uh, maybe consider subscribing to Maker's Muse if you enjoy the 3D printing content I provide and look forward to seeing you again very shortly. Catch you later guys. Bye bye. Actually, I just had a closer look at this and you can see there's some support materials still in areas they couldn't get to. So I may have inadvertently given them, given them an exceedingly difficult thing to print because they would have had to remove support material from certain areas. And the support looks like little columns with tiny needle point uh, contact points. So a bit like they were using for the SLS, sorry, S, uh, SLA that they were printing on. They would have designed those within, I think, Magics, I Materialized Magics. And I can see some leftover in areas they couldn't access. So, I mean, amazing that they managed to make this work. I mean, this is probably the most complicated file they've ever had to do. I feel a little bit bad about it, but at the same time, super cool. Thanks for watching, guys.